Welcome to the Solanus Casey Center and to the Creation Garden. This Creation Garden is filled with Franciscan spirituality. One of the first things you might note is the architecture in which this was designed. Surrounding this open square garden is a covered walkway. This is traditional Franciscan architecture. In many of the friaries throughout the world, there are open square gardens in the midst of the friary. In warmer climates, these open squares are accessible through the very doors that the friars walk through for their chapel, for their dining, for their dormitories. Here in the northern climate, here at St. Bonaventure, we also have an open square in the middle of the friary. But because we receive a great deal of cold and snow in the winter, it is enclosed in glass. But it is a predominant sign of a Franciscan structure where there is a sense of connecting with nature in the midst of their dwelling. It is also filled, this garden, with Franciscan spirituality because it is based on a poem written by St. Francis of Assisi, Canticle of the Creatures. St. Francis wrote it at the end of his life when he was struggling with his life's choices. Was he really following what the Lord had wanted him to do? And in fact, one night, he was rather distraught in his prayer. He was spending the night in a cave. He was not sleeping. He was tormented with doubt. As the sun rose that morning and the light filled the mouth of the cave, Francis moved to the opening of the cave and felt the warmth of the light cascade over him. His eyes, which had been badly blinded throughout the last few years of his life, could only sense that there was light, but could see no shapes. And yet, mystically, in that moment, he experienced a oneness with all creation and with the Creator. And he actually felt that all of creation was praising God. And he looked to creation as part of a family in which God, the Father, the Creator, is Father of all. And so he began to call creation brother and sister, brother sun, sister moon, brother fire, sister water, brother wind, sister mother earth, and lastly, as he was dying, sister bodily death. I'd like to take you through this creation garden and share with you the sculptures that bring to life St. Francis's poem.